Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Uh, in the last episode, I lost my Caterpie. And so now I'm left with a Rattata, a Pidgey, and a Bulbasaur. And that's it. So now I'm gonna go and get ready to go to Mount Moon. And based on my research here, I believe I can catch a total of five Pokemon in this before I get Misty. I think that's correct? Yes. So using my trusty map... Um, route 3, Mount Moon. Route 4. Route 24 and Route 25 up before Misty. Okay. Here we go. Oh, battles. Okay, so I'm gonna actually throw Radita out first. Because I need to level him up. He's gonna be really important. In this game. For sure. You looked at me, didn't you? Not like that, ma'am. Oh, a level 9 Pidgey. Um... using Tail Whip. Let's see how much damage a Gust does here against a level 6. That's too much. I don't like that. We're gonna switch out to my own Brave Bird. I am eating a pineapple right now. And I am faster. Good. Um, he's doing a lot of damage to me, actually. I'm not okay with this. Because remember, one critical hit, and I'm done. And it's going to be another Pidgey, level 9, eh? Okay, we're not going to mess around. Go see the bomber. I don't think Vine Whip would do a lot against Pidgey, so I'll just tackle him. And he's only doing 5 damp. Oh, a critical hit! Well, now I'm a little concerned. Although I still should be okay. Okay. <laughs> Good. Level 10. No level up for Seed Bomber, eh? I would really like Seed Bomber to uh, evolve into an Ivysaur sooner than later. That would be nice. Alright, so I'm gonna heal up here. Remember, I can't use any potions, so I'm pretty much gonna be held hostage by this Pokemon Center. Now I'm wondering what I'm going to run into on Route 3. Remember, I lost my Caterpie. But I can't catch another Pidgey or a Rattata, so I'm really hoping I don't run into those on Route 3. I just, I don't know what else there is. Oh, this guy's in Viridian Forest, okay. Oh, he's got three. This could be good for me. Level 10? Six damage, eh? That's a critical hit, and I do that little. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it anymore. Okay. Come on, Rat King, go, Brave Bird. I did more damage. Screen shot's gonna slow me down a little bit. There it is. 
Level 7, Rat King. Quick attack? Yes. A Weedle. No Poison Sting, please. I don't want any Poison Sting. I'm doing a lot of damage. Oh, Weedle doesn't have any defense. Oh, wow. Barely survives it. Yes. Caterpie. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this going. I'm actually not concerned so much about... Um, about these trainers coming up because the worst one I think I'd face would be probably a Weedle if they poison me and uh, Bulbasaur is really strong against the um, poison types so let me just see 11 to 23. I'll do one more trainer and then I'll go heal up because I don't want to be running back and forth every single time that's gonna get really stale really quickly Youngster wants to fight, he sends out a radata. That is I blah, blah, blah. I don't like that. Alright, I'm gonna run away to Seed Bomber. Tail whip failed. Good. Okay. Vine whip. Please do a lot of damage. Okay. I can handle that. Oh, really? Nine. That's a little, uh, that's a little lot. Ooh, Ekans! I wouldn't mind having an Ekans on my team, actually. It scares me when they lower my defense like that, because then a single critical hit could do a lot of damage. Yeah, not very effective and still does 7 damage. Level 15! I guess Bulbasaur also evolves at level 16. We'll go heal again. Thank you, your Pokémon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. I better buy some Pokéballs, though. Because the last thing I'd want to do is be in an epic, you know, catching fight with somebody and not be able to, um, use them, you know? Alright, what do we got? Nope. Yes, Pokeballs. We'll buy ten. I'll buy, uh, uh... Three more antidotes. Because that could also be very devastating if all of a sudden I am poisoned. Because in this game, I believe if you're poisoned and you're walking, you will take damage every time. So if you don't have an antidote, your guy's guaranteed to die if you can't get to a Pokemon Center. And I'm not willing to, uh, have that happen. Oh shoot, I could have dodged that battle altogether. Oh well. It's an intriguing look I gave you, my lady. And she's gonna bring out a Radita. Level 10. I will send her to level 7 Rat King. He's gonna tail whip me, but that doesn't matter because I'm gonna switch out relatively quickly. Oh my god! What have I done? <laughs> I need to be really careful from here on out. That was actually quite scary. Two tail whips. I might even switch out right after this, because I don't want a single critical hit to take Brave Bird down. So I think I'll switch out here. Oh, and Nidoran! Yeah, I'm gonna switch out here. To Seed Bomber. Okay. Not very effective. Oh, okay, for some reason I thought he was ground. That's a mistake on my part. Okay. 
Um, that's two Leers. Still should be strong enough to survive any of those things. How much is Horn Attack gonna do? Oh, only 11? Okay. I mean, 11's a lot, but at full health, I'm not exactly terribly concerned. Brave Bird grew to level 12. Quick Attack, there we go. Be nice. And I am running back. I am I am gonna run back and heal. So I need to be a little creative here. So as we get through this way. I am a trainer. Let's fight indeed. Ooh, a, oh a bunch of bugs. Weedle level nine. Go rat king! How much damage am I gonna do? Oh hey! This is a winnable battle, one on one. Oh yeah, use string shot as much as you want, buddy. Rad King, this is your time to shine. Please don't get poisoned. Excellent. Level 8. Uh, Kakuna. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Kakuna only knows Harden at this point. So this is free experience for uh, Radita. I'll take it. Let's use Tackle because there's no point in wasting my really good move. There we go. Caterpie! Quick attack time. Yeah, keep using String Shot, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm not afraid of that. Excellent. Now he's probably going to bring a Metapod out. Yep. And I'll just tackle him to death. I like these almost guaranteed wins, you know? Oh, critical hit. Yes. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. If you were a good trainer, you might have won. Alas, you are neither. It's true, I am not wearing shorts. I am wearing jeans, a toque, and a red sweater. Okay, what do you got? Oh, a Spearow, sweet. Oh, level 14? Oh my goodness. He's gonna know Peck. That's gonna do a lot of damage against uh, Bulbasaur. Okay, this could be a very scary battle, actually. Please do a lot of damage. Keep going. Oh, wow. Yeah, Spearow would be very scary against a Bulbasaur right now. Rat King level 10. No Brave Bird, really? Wow. I would have fully expected to um, level up there. Now, I'm not sure if I'm at Mount Moon yet, if this is the Mount Moon part. Okay, I think there's one more gym, uh, one more trainer. So I'll fight this guy. And then I will look and see. Who do you got? Oh, a Caterpie, okay. Level 11, go. Level 10, Rat King. Uh, 
I don't think he can critical hit me to death here anyway. Especially if he's going to string shot me, it's not going to do anything. Okay. Tackle. Oh, five. Okay, we're not going to... No. No more gambling. Whoops. Yeah, it's fun. Metapod? I'll switch back in Rat King because uh, Metapod can't do any damage. Might as well give Rat King the free uh, level up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go and heal up right before I catch a Pokemon here, just in case. And I will just desperately hope that um, it's not a Rattata or a Pidgey that I run into here. Yeah, Jigglypuff would be really nice, actually, because I could use Sing... Too bad that Metapod does no tackle. <laughs> also, it's level 11. Why didn't you just level it up to Butterfree at level 10, man? Unbelievable. Alright. Done like dinner indeed. Alright. Uh, oh, that woman's... Yeah, she's gonna want to fight me. I can't... I can't do it. Can't gamble. You saw me gamble in the last episode and I lost a Caterpie because of it. So I think what I'm gonna do in this to end off this video is I'm going to catch knock on wood. I'm going to catch a Pokemon in Route 3, and then I'm going to catch a Pokemon in Mount Moon. Who am I going to run into? Please don't be a Reddit or a Pidgey. Please be a Jigglypuff. Ah, socks. Alright, well, I'm just going to Big X for Route 3. That's really disappointing. Ooh, critical hit. That did a lot of damage, actually. Alright, well, watch this be the Jigglypuff. Oh, I could have caught a Spearow? Oh man, that would have been so cool. Switch quick attack to the top. I love Spearow. That would have been so neat. Alright, I'm gonna switch Brave Bird in. And I'm gonna fight this girl. I did touch you, I apologize. It was on the shoulder. It was, it was, it was appropriate. Here we go. Oh, Jigglypuff! Level 14? Oh my god. Um, how much damage are you gonna do? 11? Okay, I'm just gonna keep using Sand Attack. Quick attack time. Yeah, Disable, I think, is broken in the first couple of games. Sweet. 228. Level 13. That's it? What do you mean that's it? I destroyed you. Alright, let's go to Mount Moon. Please don't be any more trainers. Please don't be any more trainers. Is this guy a trainer? 
Oh, I see, okay. Alright. This is the Pokemon Center. So we'll heal up one more time. I have six Pokeball set in my team. You can only carry six. Yeah, I know. You already told me once. I don't need to hear it twice. Okay. Alright, so we get to catch one more Pokemon, and then that will be the end of this episode. And next episode will be Mount Moon. Who's it gonna be? Who am I gonna run into? I actually really hope it's a Geodude. Come on. Come on, be a Geodude, be a Geodude. Hey, what's this? TM12. What's TM12? Water Gun! Radita knows Water Gun. Oh my goodness. And all of a sudden, Radith is now my top guy. <laughs> well, not top guy, but he'll be able to do damage against the Geodude. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're catching a Zubat. There it is. A level 6 Zubat. One, two, three. Oh, wait. oh, oh! No way, Zubat's gonna be the one that get that. No, I'm not okay with this. Get in the Pokeball, Zubat. Yes. Zubat is a bat Pokemon. Forms colonies in perpetually dark places, uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. Yes, I do want to nickname him. Adam East. And let's go heal up our Zubat, and that's the end of this episode. Ooh. Another Zubat. Go, Rat King. Use Water Gun. That, that did nothing. Alright, back to Quick Attack we go. Same type of attack bonus is huge, but at least Water Gun will do a lot of damage to the Rock types. And yeah, Zubat's going to be a pain to train up as well. That'll be something I have to do off-stream, I'm guessing. Excellent. Ride King is now level 11. Alright, well thanks for watching today uh, as we get to Mount Moon. And now we have four Pokémon in our team. Alas, Zubat is not exactly... A superstar by any stretch of the imagination, but hey, every little bit helps. And we're going to save. Thanks again for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with Mount Moon. Bye for now.